just putting this video together quickly to show how you can improve your keywords on your Merch by Amazon listings. I made this video before, but I added a few things and I'm going to make it go by faster so it won't take so long to go through. So I'm sure a lot of you already know uh, Merch Informer. If you go to Resources, go to Merch Research, key in the niche that you're researching. I'm going to do bass fishing as an example today. Click on whatever um, category. I'm just going to do regular t-shirts. Once the listings come up, um, they'll always be sorted by relevance. And the way I do this, I use the word counter. You can use any word counter online. They're free to use. And then I also use the Moz toolbar. It's an SEO um, Google Chrome extension toolbar. I just use that to help me out. So once you're on the Amazon listings, after they've populated from your search on here, you turn on the Moz toolbar. This little page analysis will come on. Click on it. Scroll down. And right here you're going to see the H2 headings. You're literally going to highlight them. Copy them. Don't go past that because all of this is just extra stuff at the bottom. You don't need any of that. So you're highlighting just the H2 headings. Go to your word counter. Paste them. And then uh, what I started doing differently is I also go to the featured items in that category or that niche and then I do the same exact thing. So I'm getting two sets of um, titles and keywords from those sets of relevancy and featured t-shirts. I copy that as well. Go back to my word counter, go to the bottom, paste it. And then you can also, so you're not just looking on Merch by Amazon t-shirts because that's what Merch Informer does. You can also go to Amazon itself, key in the same keyword, if you can spell right, unlike me, search for that on Amazon itself, and then go to novelty and more, so it will come up with the same type of shirt. But this is not going to be just Merch by Amazon t-shirts. These are going to be other sellers that also have good BSR uh, rankings. So you're getting even more data. So I'm going to do the same thing. I skip the ones that say sponsored. So I'll go, let's see, that's the only one at the top. I'm going to highlight after that sponsored ad. Copy these. Go back to my word counter paste it and you can do the same thing if you want also do the featured items again I skip over the sponsored ad ones you can choose them if you want and some of these will be repeated but it's not gonna matter that much I'll show you why in a second I'm going to copy that, go back here, pick keyword density by uh, single words, two words, or the three word phrases. I, I like to use the three word phrase, phrases, and then if I'm going to put up a shirt in this category, I try to make sure that I have at least the top you know, three to five keywords or phrases that are used here. And what you can do, is, if you want, you can just highlight all of these. You could copy these, since those are used the most, put them at the bottom, get rid of these numbers here, and then just utilize them as you see fit to turn them into, you know, a title, a brand name, bullet points, whatever you want. As long as they're relevant to what your shirt has on it, um, you can use these. So you're not copying somebody else's title word for word, you're just using the keywords that they used um, or that we used the most out of all of these words and you saw that I copied and pasted from four different pages of results with the keyword uh, bass fishing. So that's a great way to see what's ranking at the top for a specific niche. Here, here